Hello there, Spokane Business Community. Mark Pond here with the Spokane Public Library. And I want to take just a couple of minutes to give you a quick overview of our new subscription to PitchBook. So if you aren't already familiar with PitchBook, it's the go-to source for information and data on the VC and private equity and angel investing world. So we're the only public library in the nation that has a subscription to PitchBook, so we're a fairly unique bird here, but I'd like to give you a quick overview of the types of information and data that you can expect to find within PitchBook. So once we get logged in, there are a couple different ways that you can search this. Um, you're looking at basically the same pile of data, but you can search for companies with, that are within a particular space or industry, or conversely, look at it through the lens of investors or buyers that are maybe interested in those companies. So just as a quick example, I was working with a guy a couple weeks ago. He's down in the Palouse. He's developing some drone technology for the agricultural space. And what he is looking for right now is not so much funders, but he's looking for competitors that are out there that are maybe doing something similar to what he's doing. So we could come in here to the company search, we go to the industries, verticals, and keywords, and we can say, all right, show us who is in the egg tech world and also doing something with robotics and drones. So the database, it covers the entire globe, but we can drill down locally or to whatever geographic region we want. But let's just go ahead and leave the search pretty wide open here. So we've got 163 companies that are in the egg tech and robotic and drone world. On the very first page of the search results, we get kind of the 90,000 foot overview of what's going on in the space as a whole. So, so far in 2019, there's been almost $100 million of total capital raised from 21 different deals. But if we click up here on the Companies tab, then we can see as we scroll down and look on the left-hand column here, those 163 companies, how much they've raised, that, um, those amounts are generally disclosed. But then, let's say if we click in on any one of these, let's look at this advanced farm technologies, so we can see that, all right, so they were founded in 2017. Towards the end of 2018, they raised 1.7 million, and then just as of August 27th, they raised another seven and a half million. And down below, you get some description of who they are, what they do. Looks like they're dev developing a robotic strawberry picker. Okay, good to know. Then below that, you get names and address, uh, contact information with phone numbers and emails generally. Down below, similar companies. Then we see who's on Advanced Farm Technologies team, their board members and observers, and the deals that they've already gone through, their current investors, and here you can click through on any one of these to see, oh, Yamaha, they're investing in this particular company. All right, Yamaha, here's who they are, what's going on in their world. Again, contact information, names, addresses, phone numbers, emails, then down below, who sits on Yamaha's team? And then if we jump way down here to the bottom, who are the companies that Yamaha is investing in? And again, you can click through on any one of these, and we can take a look at Abundant Robotics. This sends us back to the company side of things to see who are they. So you can just splash around in this data all day long. We can, if you're more interested in just kind of grabbing the information and running with it. You can download this data so we can grab all 163 companies there. We can download to Excel and say we want all of the columns and so you'll get a hundred and what is it? 136 columns of data on each one of these individual companies. Download it, dump it into a spreadsheet and then it's yours to keep and, and play around with. So like I mentioned, we're the only public library in the nation that PitchBook works with. 
So in order to hammer out this, uh, this deal with them, I had to promise them that I would be the sole keeper of the login credentials. So if you want to come in to the library to use PitchBook, the best way to set that up is if you go to spokanebusiness.org, that's the page that we pulled together all of our business research tools here at the library. And if you go over here under the schedule of one-on-one -on -one training with a business librarian, just click the Spokane Public Library link and that will take you to my calendar. I usually have that filled out about two weeks or so in advance. So if there's a time that works well for you, say the 26th at 1.30, just click sign up, put in your information, and then there's no need to call or email me. Just, um, yeah, uh, if the time is available there on my calendar, I've set it aside. Uh, one quick user note here is that I do have a volunteer that I'm working with. His name's Alex, and Alex is great, but like I mentioned, I'm the only one with the login credentials. So if you're looking for access to PitchBook, make sure that you're setting up an appointment with me rather than with Alex. So that's the quick flyby there in terms of PitchBook and the type of information and the data that it has available. And it really is jaw-dropping in terms of the content and the depth of information there. So should you want to take a deeper look, do be in touch, and I'd be more than happy to make that happen.